today I'm going to be showing you a little bit different of a video. It's going to be if I could keep 10 palettes, 10 eyeshadow palettes, which ones would I keep? And I thought this would be a fun idea. I Let me just grab them all here. I have 10 in front of me and I thought Angelica Nisus on YouTube uh, do this video and Annette's Makeup Corner actually originated it, I believe. But I thought it would be fun. I don't think I've ever done this video. And if I have, I'm sure maybe my answers have changed. But I thought it would be really fun to go through it. And just kind of like tell you why I'd keep which ones. And this was really hard. There's a few sentimental palettes that I didn't include. Like the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And those types of palettes. Just because I felt like, you know, it's this is more so palettes that I actually use and love. And... And um, yeah, so I didn't include some palettes that are dear to my heart even still, but uh, these are the ones that I feel like I would get the most use out of and the color schemes I really enjoy. Um, and I do have like 80 or 90 <laughs> eyeshadow palettes because it's just what I love. I love getting new ones and trying new formulas and trying different color combinations. It's just what I collect and enjoy. But so this was a little hard, but I have 10 palettes in front of me that I narrowed it down to. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. First, I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas, Natasha Denona. And I just had to include the cranberry palette just because I love every single shade in here and I felt like I had to include it. Pinks and purples. Today I have a more neutral um, look on. But I really enjoy mostly all the time. I'm wearing pinks and purples and I love colorful eyeshadow. But yeah, pinks and purples are just my jam. So this palette is so gorgeous. I love this pink. I love this like coral orangey or shimmer. I love the mattes and I love this. This Even though this looks kind of neutral, it's really unique and a pretty shimmer. So I absolutely love all of these. And I had to include this little guy. I got that in a BoxyCharm pop-up actually for a really good price. Um, so that's my number, my first one. This is not really in order. Next, I included the Marc Jacobs Stiletto palette. Now this is the way I kind of included, thought about this one is more of my cool toned palette. So I absolutely love the neutrals in here actually. The browns are really pretty. This shimmer is gorgeous. This glitter is so gorgeous. It comes with a black and the prettiest cool tone purple ever and I feel like I had to include it. I love this creamy formula. This is my only palette from Marc Jacobs but I absolutely love it and so I just felt like I had to include this one as like my cool toned option. Next is another pinky purple palette, the It's My Pleasure by Colourpop. I absolutely love this palette. It's one of my favorites and the I have exciting news with this one. The shade Earthshine which is like my favorite eyeshadow um, eyeshadow in general I think I did hit pan and if you could see the little baby pan I hit pan a couple days ago and I was so excited it's my favorite palette I it's my favorite shade <laughs> the earth shine shade I actually have a backup of a single of it so love this and I love mr. Sandman I love do or dough and the, the mattes are gorgeous these two shades aren't my favorite, but it's still a gorgeous palette overall, and I had to, I knew I had to include this one. So, yeah, then I have, let's see, next, this was kind of a surprise. Um, this is the Beauty Bakery, uh, <laughs> I can't talk, Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette, and this came in a boxy charm, and I was very pleasantly surprised with it. It's just one of those that I reach for so much in the you know if I'm feeling more cooler toned or in the fall winter time I think it's just gorgeous it has really nice mattes that work with like any look here with this palette and then there's really gorgeous shimmers the only shade I don't really like is the blue in the middle here but other than that I love these types of tones and I did include other pinks and purples but I felt like this kind of offered more cooler tones and more interesting like burgundy purples that weren't included in the other palettes so I decided to include this one and I think it's so cute the whole like breakfast in bed theme it's just really cute and I love the quality of the eyeshadows actually I know I heard one youtuber here didn't like that um I think Leora didn't like that palette but I really enjoyed it 
Next, I wanted to include some grungier palettes as well because for fall, I really enjoy that type of thing. So I had to include my subculture from Anastasia. I love Anastasia palettes and this was the only one I decided to include, which was kind of interesting. Um, but the electric shade here, this green shimmer is so gorgeous and I really enjoy green. So I thought this would offer me some greens and some neutrals, like kind of grungy neutrals and some more colorful shades down here. So I just thought it covered a lot of bases and I, I love this palette for like October, you know, September, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to definitely need this one included. And another, along those same lines, I included the Tribe palette from Juvia's. Juvia's is a hit or miss, miss eyeshadow formula for me. Some of their mattes do not work, but their shimmers are gorgeous. But this palette, I love every single shade included, and I thought this would cover some bases as well because I have some more greens to play with. This is a gorgeous like inner corner shade. It has green, like a green hint to it. This gold is gorgeous, so I could do a neutral look. I could use the oranges. I don't love oranges all that much, but I feel like this palette is just gorgeous, and the blues kind of in here are gorgeous and amazing, So, and the formula is just so, so good and pigmented, so I had to include this one. I felt like, I don't know, I felt like these two are kind of similar, but in different ways. Um, you know, they still offer enough differences between the two, so I had to include both for my grungy love <laughs> when I'm feeling more grungy and then I had to include also my melt Mirte palette this is gorgeous it is it was limited edition so it's not available anymore but I absolutely love these shades and I wanted some more blues as well like I didn't want a whole I have blue moon by ColourPop but I don't reach for that one that much this one I reach for more especially in the winter time so so pretty I thought it would offer me those mint shades, those blues, and then some burgundies as well. Love this color scheme. I think it's gorgeous and Melt formula is really, really good. It's The shimmers are gorgeous and the mattes are so pigmented but blendable and yeah, I had to include this one. It's just too unique and cool to leave out, I felt like. <laughs> and then I knew I had to include a pastel palette, and this is a very new palette to my collection from my Aunt Nettie, actually. It is the Lost in Los Angeles from BH Cosmetics, and they, I don't know, this formula is so good. I have to try more from BH because <laughs> look at this. Um, it's gorgeous. I love pastels, so I knew I needed a pastel palette, at least one. And this one covers a lot of bases for me because it has so many pretty pinks and purple pastels as well as like some unique shades. And I felt like pairing this with other palettes, I could create some awesome looks. And I've been reaching for this palette so, so much lately. You have no idea. Um, just for a couple shades here and there, like I'm like, oh, I really need that green or I need this shade here or something like that. Or the shimmers, they're just so unique. So whether it's a pairing palette or on its own, I've been using this so much for summer and just when I need that pastel look. So love this so much. Had to include it. And it's a new palette to my collection. So love that one. And then we have two left. We have two left. I know this was, seems like it was easy for me to decide, but I, it took me time, I swear. I knew I needed a rainbow palette as well, so I chose this one because if I you know if I only have 10 palettes in my collection I definitely want some rainbow options so this is the glam light cake palette and I just thought it included a lot that I could play with and pair with other palettes it has a couple neutrals but it has you know all the colors in the rainbow the shimmers are outstanding in this palette I absolutely love it this is my only glam light palette so I can't speak to their other palettes but oh my gosh Shimmer is amazing, matte's so pigmented, but also easy to work with, so I had to include this one. I just felt like it covered so many different colors, and I absolutely enjoy the formula. And lastly, this was actually the first palette I thought of when I was like, okay, what would I keep if I could only keep 10? I had to pick the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. First off, the packaging is really, really cute with the bugs and everything, but the color scheme is just so gorgeous. 
I don't know what it is, but it has some grungy neutrals, it has some pinks and purples, a yellow, a green, and you can just do so much with this palette, and the formula is so amazing. I love the shimmers. This is like a duochrome here. Love the shimmers, love the mattes, and there's not one shade in this palette that I don't love, so I had to include this one. Hands down, this was the first one I thought of to include, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this it was there it was a surprise to you did you think i'd include a different palette or um do you agree with any of my choices what palettes would you pick if you have a smaller collection too you could always tell me what one palette you'd pick or something like that but this was kind of hard but fun to do so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll talk to you next time bye